Hi Cheese World, this is Dan Hogan. We're so excited to be here. Um, we got the invitation to come down to Stanzeski's grand opening and uh, drove all the way down from Dallas in terrible traffic and we don't care. We're here <laughs> and we're happy and delighted to be with yeah. these two wonderful CCP cheese professionals. And so, we're, we're happy you're here. I'm well, excited you. you're here. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Cheese is great. Last time we were here, you were talking about setting up a training facility, but we hadn't seen it yet. And now, now we lovely. have it. We've it's already here. done two classes. Two classes. Uh, we've had some great response. We've had great feedback. Um, we have some exciting classes on the calendar. So chocolate and cheese pairing, which um, is a unique class. I think people are really going to enjoy that. Mm -hmm. um, you say chocolate, and people are kind of have the reaction of a kid at Christmas. Mm -hmm. Their eyes light up like, ooh, chocolate. I think the other thing that would be more any more exciting to them would be if you said bubbly, they'd be like oh, champagne. So, but it's exciting. With so, chocolate. with Indeed. chocolate, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So, well, you mentioned uh, kids, and I noticed uh, one of the classes is aimed at children. Can you tell me a little about that? Sure. We, you know, we want to just like with older folks, uh, we want to have people feel comfortable about cheese. Let them know there's something out there other than string cheese. Nothing wrong with string cheese. But, you know, cheese has some awesome flavor. Um, sometimes if you don't have cookies to go with your milk, you have other ways you can have milk instead of just liquid. So mm -hmm. it's just great to have, you know, it, what's nice about it is I noticed a lot of kids are curious about science. So this is really a unique kind of look at milk, looking at milk a different way. So we're, we're excited about that class as well. Um, you know, we've got a nice full calendar up for October. We're already working awesome. on November and December. So, so Erica, tell me about the timid cheese buyer that comes in and doesn't know how, how to uh, pronounce the cheese. They have no idea what's going on. Well, you know, my first, my approach, initial approach to any guest, um, they can be really overwhelmed, intimidated if we have a large number of cheeses in our case. I think the best thing to do is ask them, what's the last cheese you had? What kind of flavors do you like? Do you like soft? Do you like hard? Best thing to do, I find, is the best starting point. What's the last cheese you ate? Why did you like it? Why didn't you like it? What don't you like? What do you like? And then we kind of give them samples so that we can get them to expand their taste profile a little but not give them something out of left field that's going to intimidate them kind of keep them on that same path and then slowly graduate them to some really awesome cheeses when a, a new customer comes in to antonelli's and you can just tell that they are just petrified because there's th what 300 <laughs> cheeses what how do you make them feel comfortable we um I like to ask them what it is their favorite type of cheese, looking at more texture based soft or maybe hard cheese and while they're telling me what they like, I have my favorite cheese ready to go and I'm handing it off to them so while they're talking, telling me uh, what their favorite cheese is, what kind of style they like, they're already eating my favorite cheese and we can kind of talk along that journey of why this cheese is my favorite and then kind of melds into what cheeses that they're going to like down in the case. Yeah, and I think that's a great approach what Alex does. I find it that's also another great approach. Hey, mm -hmm. here's my favorite cheese. Let me tell you why. And, and let's talk about it and you taste it as well. So it kind of gets them a little more relaxed so they really, really feel comfortable, comfortable with the cheese that you're asking them to taste. And you trust them. Um, the fact that Alex and myself are CCPs, I think puts a little more um, credibility, as it were, to that cheese. They're like, whoa, this person's a CCP. They know cheese. You know, and now they have a resource. It kind of lightens their intimidation factor.